Hey there, today I'm going to help you set up your brand hub. So you're going to go to Canva and you're going to go to the home page. And if you scroll down here on the side, you're going to see brand hub. So if you click on that, you may have already have something set up here. If you had a brand kit set up previously, then they automatically added it here. So I'm going to click on mine. And you'll see that there are some changes from how the brand kit was set up. If you have never had a brand kit, then this is where you set it up as well. So I have mine started here. I already have a logo here. And you'll notice that you can have different color palettes. You can add to the color palette. It just looks a little bit different than before. Um, and then you also have the ability to add more fonts or add different sizing to your fonts. I still suggest only having three to four fonts per brand. And so here I'm going to use this section to just give myself different sizes of like my title font is still going to stay the same as my heading, but I'm going to set them up as different sizes. So here you may not already have a title set up, but if you didn't, you would go here to um, this drop down menu here, and then you're going to put in your title font. That's probably the same as like your headlighter font, like what you use for like a title of a worksheet or something like that. This is going to be that font. So I have Prada set as mine, and then I can adjust the sizing here. So you'll notice as you go and design different documents, and you'll see that you maybe need to bump up the sizing a little bit, but I'm just going to keep it right around here. Um, and leave it there. And then for my subtitle, I'm going to have it be the same as my subheading was set. So subtitle and subheading are going to be the same. So I'm going to change this to Gotham because that's what I have there. So Gotham is my subtitle. This might be a good idea if you wanted to put like the bold version of your subheading font. So you have like variety when you bring it in to your documents. So I'm going to have that set like that. And then I'm going to hit the check mark right there. Okay, section heading. I'm just not going to have anything there. Of course, you can put something in um, if you know what you like to use for section headings, if it helps you to have something. I just don't put too many fonts here. It'll make your designs look messy and kind of start taking you off brand. So the body I already had set up. I'm just going to leave that how it was. I probably want to bump this up to like a 12 um, and then I'm going to hit there. And then for caption, if you have a script font, I think this is a great place to put this um, I know that before with the brand kit, you could only have three fonts. And so now we can have add that script font if you're that's something you're using, or if you have just like a extra um, font that you use occasionally, but for sure, like a script is a good idea for here. So I'm going to add a script font and maybe it's something that you don't already have added to your computer. So if you have Canva pro, you can go here and go to upload font. And then I'm just going to click on a font that I want to add and upload it here. Okay, so now that that's added, I'm going to bump up the size again. And, and then I'm going to add the word script. Just so when I see it in my brand hub, I know what it is. Okay, and then if you move further down, you can add photos here. So this is a place where you would add your stock photos or photos of yourself. You can just drag and drop them or you can click here and go to the folder that you want to add. I have some open, so I am going to add them here. So I have these stock photos that I'm just going to drag and drop. These are photos that I use a lot, um, kind of help me to stay on brand as well. And then I'm also going to add some of myself. Okay, so this is like some photography of yourself you want to add. Maybe you have some profile pictures that you want to add in there. All right, so I'm just going to add a couple for now. And then if you go down here, you'll see graphics. So. I would suggest for graphics, like if you have a pattern that you use a lot, um, if you have any sort of design element that you use a lot, you can add that here that's on brand for you. Okay, so I have a pattern here, so I'm going to drag that and put that there. Now that's saved there. Okay, and for icons, maybe you have some icons that you use a lot. Um, like I'm thinking about like the highlight 
graphs in your Instagram feed. You might have some icons there. You might make a lot of graphs or um, worksheets that you like to use the same icon a lot. You can add those here. If it helps you to stay on brand, you don't have to have anything there. Okay, so I'm going to add some of my icons and I'm just going to drop them into that spot. Okay, and you'll see over here on the left, you can add more logos if you have any extra that you want to add there. You go through the colors, it kind of just helps you scroll down the fonts that you have, the photos that you have, the graphics, and the icons. Okay, now let's go open a design. Okay, so I've opened up a project here. And I'm going to go over here again to the left hand side and I'm going to click on brand hub. And then I have everything here. So here's even some brand templates I set up that we'll talk about another time, but here's my logo. So I can click on that and it gets added to my document right away. And here are all the colors. And here are my font. So let's say I wanted to add a font here and you can see that size is a little small. So if I'm noticing as I'm designing uh, a lot of my documents, I might go in and like adjust that in my brand hub. But for now, I can just resize on the side and that's just fine. Add a subheading. And if you want to see more, and there's where that script is. So you can add the script there and just pull up on the side to make it bigger. All right. And then if I scroll down, you're going to see like photos. So I can add a, a photo of me really easily. And any of the other ones, you can just see all like that. And then here I want to add that pattern. So I click on that and now if I right click on it, I can set it to the background. Okay, so now that's set in the background and here then the icons, they're hard to see because they're black, but if I click on it, um, it'll get added right there. So, all right, so I hope you take this challenge to go set up your brand hub. It is gonna save you so much time. It's gonna help you be so much more efficient in Canva. So take the time to do that. If you don't have Canva Pro yet, I would suggest getting that and I'm going to have a link underneath this video and in the email so that you can um, get signed up with Canva Pro and get going. All right, we'll see ya.